You can use wildcards to increase the flexibility of command line searches in Greek. In other videos, we've discussed the asterisk and question mark wildcards. Let me display the code insertion buttons by right clicking on the command line and choosing code insertion buttons as a reminder. The asterisk wildcard represents zero or more characters and the question mark wildcard always represents one character or a single character. Wildcards can be used in place of specific letters in a word search, but they are also used to represent characters in a morphological code. So let's conduct a few searches as examples and make sure that you have a morphology version chosen as your search version. I'll be using the BNM. For our first example, we want to conduct a Greek morphology search for any lemma, the lexical form of the word, and the morphological coding of verb, indicative, present, any voice, first person, and singular. I do so by typing period, asterisk, the at sign. When you first type the search on the command line and then enter the at sign separator, the pop-up morphology code help allows you to work through each step of entering the codes. So we're looking for verb, indicative, present, but we want any voice. So I'll click the question mark for any code. Then first person, singular, and then I'll finish the codes with an asterisk for any possible following codes. You can use the morphology helper to click on the codes or enter them from your keyboard. Then hit enter to run the search. In the next example, we'll search for any lemma and the morphological coding of verb, indicative, any tense, any voice, any person, and plural. Hit period, then asterisk wildcard, the at sign, then V for verb, I for indicative. Then I can enter a question mark for tense, for voice, for person. I wanted plural, so I'll enter P, and then an asterisk to finish things off. Then I can run the search. Other characters you can use on the command line are braces and brackets that function as range operators that allow you to group characters to use multiple codes in one place in the morphology code for a particular word. These range operators can be used in both lemma and the morphology codes and allow you to specify portions of the lemma or portions of the morphology code. Let's use a couple of examples of those. We can use them in the Greek lemma. I can type period, P, brace, alpha, iota, brace, the asterisk, and then a sigma the at sign, and then the asterisk. So from your keyboard, period, P, brace, A, I, brace, asterisk, S, at, asterisk. We'll find all words that begin with a P, the next letter being either an alpha or an iota, and the word ending with a sigma. When we hit enter to run the search, we found words like pistis or polos, but not words like petros. For this next example, let's use the range operators for morphological codes. Period, asterisk, at sign, V, I, P, A, bracket, one, two, bracket, S, asterisk. In this example, we'll find all the verbs, indicative, present, active, and both first and second person, but not third person, and singular. Hit enter, and the search is run. Now let's go over some other combinations that you can use. Let's say you want to find all non-indicative forms of agapao. Type period, A, G, A, P, A, W on your keyboard the at sign, then V, bracket, S, O, D, N, P. So we're typing all the codes except for indicative, a bracket, and then the asterisk. 
then hit enter. If you want to find all oblique nouns, that is, non-nominative or vocative forms, type in period, asterisk, at, n, bracket, g, d, a, for genitive, dative, accusative, bracket, and then an asterisk to end it, and hit enter. Thus you can use wildcards and range operators to assist you in your searches from the command line. So I'll click the question mark for any code. I'll backspace back to the VI 